Hello, this is Matt Manito, liaison between the North Carolina and New England branches of the Style Invitational Losers, the group of people known for assorted poop jokes and general brouhaha that can be found in the weekly humor contest in the Washington Post, the Style Invitational. I am about to be performing a medley of TV theme songs from week 929, in which entrants were asked to come up with a TV theme song, obviously, set to any tune. And I picked six of my favorites and put them together in a little medley, and I hope you enjoy. The patter is original, none of these songs are actually mine. Here goes. Since being at college, I haven't watched all that much TV. So a few weeks ago, a few months ago, decided I'd take a day to watch a little TV and just catch up, see what I'd miss. First channel I happened to turn on, didn't pick it in particular, but there was this weird show about this family with eight kids. It was bizarre. Here's the story of a girl named Katie, who was born and living in a trailer park. All she wanted in her life was to be wealthy, on this she would embark. And it's the story of a man so shady, he would happily exploit his kids and wife. These two kindred spirits met and formed a couple, and so began their life. They went out and got a multiple conception, and resolved to get some bucks for their big bang. So they whelped and then they hawked their cute sex tablets. That's the way they all became the Gosling Gang. The Gosling Gang. The Gosling Gang. That's the way they all became the Gosling Gang. Didn't like that, so I decided I'd turn it off pretty quickly. Flipped over, and the next channel I flipped over to was PBS, and I was. I figured I'd enjoy that, they might have a special or something, but of course it was Pledge Week like it is every other week. The Invasion of Normandy Specials on Seismology Shows to help you make a greener house A performance of Deflead a Mouse No one else has the shows we do Yeah, but first we wanna hear from you so we need you to pick up the phone You can see we're not getting rich Viewers hate our bait and switch You just want the shows we said we'd air Moving coffee mugs will get us there If you deadbeats don't send the dough Cookie Monster has to be let go So we need you to pick up the phone got tired of that pretty quickly, so I decided to flip to a different station. Somehow I managed to find this weird show called Toddlers and Tiaras. It was cringeworthy. They can turn the world on with their smiles. Maybe not the whole wide world. But certainly turn on the pedophiles With their makeup and fancy dresses You know they're wearing diapers and making messes Toddlers and tiaras, temper tantrums Phony teeth and hair, the crazy rat moms Babies are told to shake their butts Their mothers clearly must be nuts Watched that for about five seconds and then decided that wasn't worth watching. Switched over to Fox and they had a house marathon. I hadn't seen Fo Fox House in a while. So I figured I'd watch it for a little bit. I enjoyed it. Here's the snarky know it all we watch on Fox TV. D O C T O R H O U S E. Who never shaves and breaks the rules with regularity. D-O-C-T-O-R-H-O-U-S-E Dr. House Dr. House He's hooked on drugs and that's why he gets high High! High! Still we really love him cause he's sexy as can be D-O-C-T-O-R-H-O-U-S-E 
I watched that for a while, and like I said, I was enjoying it. But I decided I want a little more crime, a little less medicine, so I put on CSI. And they had an interesting guest star that day. It's a beautiful day for an autopsy. Let's cut this guy open so we can see his intestines and his liver. Now we'll open his stomach. What do you say to see what he had with that Chardonnay? Would you hand me that skull chisel? I have always wanted to take a closer look inside. To roll up my sleeves, dig right in, and figure out how they died. So I'll pick up the scalpel, and you will too. We'll damn the torpedoes and rip right through. Would you hand me his left kidney? Let's just cut him open. Let's just cut him open. I was enjoying that, actually. But then, of course, they interrupted it with a special breaking news bulletin. Barack Obama was about to give a speech, his debt ceiling press conference. And not only that, he was about to give it again. I don't know, I guess people didn't get the message the first time. So I was forced to watch that again. I got a ceiling. The ride's gonna make a big fight. Grover Norquist won't give him the green light. He says taxes on rich folks are out of sight. Ceiling. And when Fox plays each Vayner sound bite, it gives all the world's markets a big fright. A bad dream of default on a midsummer's night. Dump that teacup, you've had enough. Now, Mr. Speaker, just ante up. Don't kick the can on down the road. Just raise the roof, and then we'll do it again. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, and do it, and do it, and do it. Let's live it up and do it, and do it, and do it, and do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Cause I got a ceiling.